There's a lighthouse on a hillside that overlooks life's sea. Paul is not a man given to, to, to lightness. I mean, lightness in the sense of, you know, same fluffy. He doesn't mean. He's a very serious dude. Yes, okay, he's a very serious guy. And, and by the way, it's only when you get very, very serious about the Lord that you'll find the fullness of joy. They're not, they're not opposites and equals. They don't count, you know, counter one another. You can be very, very serious and be very, very filled with joy. Paul is a very serious guy. So when he talks about prayer, he's talking about serious, serious stuff. And yes, he understands that what you're talking about, the intensity, right? So here's a guy, he winds up in, in jail in Caesarea Philippi for two years, okay? And then he was transported to Rome from there. And he wound up, to the best of our knowledge, he died there. You know? that, that's kind of where his story ends. And from, uh, again, we don't have any assurances because it doesn't say so in the Bible. But there's, there's nothing beyond that last imprisonment in Rome. Okay? In the time of Nero, when there was a great persecution of the Christians. Okay? So, he was put on trial before the council of Pharisees and Sadducees because of this, right? And it says, but on the night immediately following, the Lord stood at his side and said, take courage, for as you have solemnly witnessed in my cause at Jerusalem, so you must witness at Rome also. Acts 23, 11. So Paul had stated in his letter to the Romans that he had the desire to get to Rome. Well, praise God. God made he, a way. God made a way. Um, isn't it wonderful when the Lord is your travel agent? <laughs> yes. and, and it was free. <laughs> well, here's the deal. Because his ways are not our ways. And we think of ourselves, Paul did not. Paul led a life, like, submitted like Jesus Christ. Why do you think Paul could have the boldness to say, be an imitator of me, even as I am of Jesus Christ? Jesus prayed a prayer, and he said, Not my will, but thy will be done. Do you not think that that was the prayer of Paul? Yes, absolutely. Now, it was his desire to get to Rome. Praise God. But his will was submitted to God the Father, to the Lord Jesus Christ. His will was submitted and directed to the, to the will of the Holy Spirit. So he's praying, you know what? It says, Delight yourself in the Lord, and he'll give you the desires of your heart. Yes. Paul made it to Rome. But if you don't think God had a purpose in the way, the route Absolutely. that God chose, That's then it. ask Felix or Agrippa mm -hmm. in the jail in Caesarea Philippi, right. who heard the word because of Paul being there. Or the centurion who treated Paul well. Mm -hmm. Or the people on the ship mm -hmm. that were shipwrecked who survived because of the presence of Paul. And was encouraged by him. Or ask Publius or his father whom Paul encountered on Malta. Shaking off the snake. Yes. God has a plan. His ways are still not ours. They're higher than ours. So, yes, Paul got... Did God rescue him? God rescued him. Of course he did. Paul said, you know what? Paul is a man whose life was... His life, his real life, from that road to, Damas mm -hmm. to Damascus, on it. He was a, a, a man who had submitted himself to God totally and completely, all right? But he was a man who, who encountered trials, beaten times without number. And this is what he said, shipwrecked, imprisoned. You know what he said? He said, we walk always in the triumph of Christ Jesus because God always rescued Paul. Paul would say here in Romans in chapter 8, if God is for us, who can be against us? The Word of God says, greater is he who is in us than he who is in the world. We overcome by our faith. Paul was an overcomer. Now, if you look at it in the natural and say, well, you know, how was he rescued? He wound up in jail. He wound up in jail because God had a purpose for him being in jail. Just like when he wound up in jail in Philippi. And a, and a jailer and his family were saved because God had sent Paul on that trip to that jail. 
You know what? If you want to submit your life to God, you will walk in the triumph of Christ Jesus. And Paul didn't see these as problems. No, he saw them as intentions. Hallelujah.